Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed, and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 46 of 2018, reappointing Dr. Maryam Jalahma as Chief Executive Officer of the National Health Regulatory Authority for three more years. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Dubai Palace. The cabinet welcomed the brotherly stance of Saudi, the UAE and Kuwait in which they signed on the arrangement of the financial cooperation between their government and the government of Bahrain. The cabinet valued the supportive position which reflects their historic strong fraternal ties. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed all ministries and governmental institutions to comply with and implement the program of financial balance and its requirements which aims at enhancing financial sustainability in the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also directed ministries and governmental institutions to ensure paying the dues of contractors and companies. The Cabinet noted the importance of the Bahrain International E-Government Forum 2018, which was held under the patronage of the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the High Committee of Information Technology and Communication, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, in supporting the government's action plan. In this regard, the cabinet congratulated the governmental bodies which achieved excellent ranking in the Bahrain e-government index 2018. These entities include the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs, Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, along with the Ministry of Health. The cabinet hailed the content of the speech His Royal Highness the Prime Minister gave during shared visions for a successful World Future Forum, noting the importance of holding the forum and highlighting the effective global participation and presence. The cabinet commended the forum's highlighting of Bahrain's efforts to enhance the principles of cooperation, peace and coexistence. The attendees affirmed the importance of the speeches His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed during the meetings of the UN General Assembly on the prevention and control of non-communicable diseases and the control of tuberculosis, which were given by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs on behalf of His Royal Highness. The Cabinet congratulated Ban Ki-moon for winning the Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for Sustainable Development. The Cabinet approved adding new tasks for the National Committee concerned with following up the Kingdom's commitment to the resolutions issued by the UN Security Council to include all the topics connected to terrorism countering and to coordinate with concerned authorities in the Kingdom to implement them. The Cabinet also approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Law. The Cabinet was briefed on the efficiency of the electricity and water networks in terms of production, transmission and distribution during summer as a result of the early preparation and readiness. The Cabinet lauded the results and noted the efforts exerted to achieve them. The Cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs a draft resolution on fees for extracting certificate copies of bankruptcy record data and restricted information on the list of trustees. The Cabinet was also briefed on the statistics of the most important resolutions made by municipal councils during the fourth term 2014-2018. to The Cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs a memorandum of understanding between Bahrain and India on the exploration and use of outer space for peaceful purposes. The Cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs a draft resolution reconstructing the National Committee for AIDS. 
The cabinet also referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs a draft decree amending the Articles of Association of this Bahrain Stock Exchange. The cabinet referred to the Council of Representatives a draft law amending a number of provisions of the Penal Code. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, continues his training to participate in the Ironman World Championship, which witnesses a large participation from the sports elite. His Highness has been intensively training since his arrival in Kona to achieve the required technical readiness for the championship and eventually win a gold medal. Sheikh Nasr has been training in the race site for the swimming course and the bicycle course for 117 kilometers. His Highness also held a running exercise for 20 kilometers in preparation for the championship, which will kick off next Saturday. His Highness Sheikh Nasr is keen on participating in this sport to showcase the Kingdom of Bahrain's capabilities in all aspects. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, chaired today the first extraordinary session of the fourth legislative term. The council approved the amendment of Article 91 of the Constitution of the Kingdom of Bahrain. It also approved Decree Bylaw 45 for the year 2018 on the retirement of ministers and those holding a similar status, as well as the benefits of retirement for the members of the Shura, representatives, and municipal councils. The council approved Decree Bylaw 47 for 2018 approving the unified value added tax for the GCC, as well as decree by law 48 for 2018 on the issuance of the VAT law. The Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee discussed during its meeting, chaired by chairperson of the Shura Council's Legislative and Legal Affairs, Dilal Jassim Zayed, and in the presence of the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa. The committee discussed draft amendments of Article 91 of the Constitution of the Kingdom of Bahrain, drafted on the proposal of the Council of Representatives in accordance with the Shura Council. The committee also discussed the constitutionality of the decrees and draft laws, referred to it at the first session of the extraordinary session of the fourth legislative term, which included four decrees including the value-added tax law, the ratification of the unified value-added tax agreement of the Gulf Cooperation Council states, Decree Law on the Retirement System of Ministers and the Retirement Benefits of Shura Council, Representatives Council and Municipal Council's members. The committee concluded that the decrees and draft laws were valid and referred them to concerned committees. The Shura Council's Finance and Economic Affairs Committee met today under the chairmanship of Khalid Hussein Masqatli. The meeting approved the financial balance and value added decrees signed on October 4th between Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates, and the Arab Monetary Fund. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Finance, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Governor of the Central Bank, Rashid Al Miraj, and the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism, Nadir Khalil Mayed. The Minister of Finance pointed out that the Arab Monetary Fund will follow up the measures to deal with the deficit which ha will have a positive effect on banks and credit rating institutions, indicating that applying the value-added tax will be at the beginning of the year. The Kingdom of Bahrain Civil Service Bureau held today an introductory meeting at the Ministry of Finance for Government Human Resources staff on the new Voluntary Retirement Scheme for Government Employees. The president of CSB, Ahmed bin Zayed al Zayed, highlighted that the meeting was held to provide information on the scheme and eligibility requirements for government employees working for departments that fall under the CSB. He highlighted that the voluntary retirement scheme represents one of a series of measures announced last week as part of the fiscal balance program, a comprehensive package of reforms that will secure the kingdom's long term fiscal stability and increase opportunities and living standards for citizens. The scheme will be open for registration between October 9th and November 8th. 